where all great international sporting disputes are settled. The softball diamond. Yeah! Border battle in Oklahoma. Good Lord. I got the beer. What is that? Border battle in Oklahoma City. Canadians up 11 zip in the first. Jevin Filard, Jeff Filardo. Liner to center caught by Rick Baker. But his foot gets caught under the fence in center field. Sadly, they just had to leave him there just for the rest of the game. Just so sad. But the big man for Team USA, Rusty Bumgardner, six foot six, 285 pounds. He played football and baseball at Wake Forest. He was the first American player signed by the expansion Florida Marlins. Ty Brown, a scout for the Marlins back in 91, said of Rusty, quote, Rusty is big, strong, and put together. Cecil Fielder's just a fat slob who can hit the ball far. Rusty's got a much better body, unquote. Bumgarner never made it to the big leagues, mm -hmm. but he can still do some things on the softball diamond. Good cool. gracious. Look at that thing. That's a moonshot over the scoreboard. 400 feet plus a three-run blast with the United States down 13-9. Seventh and final inning. Johnny McCraw. A two-run homer. The United States down 30-29. to So an interesting slow-pitch softball rule is now in effect. That's their 10th homer of the game. Every home run from now on is an out. So later in the inning, tying run is at third. Scott Kirby. Hit it hard. High fly ball to right. Normally, that's a walk-off homer. But instead, because of the rule, it's an out. Hey, fellas, let's choke up a little bit, huh? Next batter, Scott Brown. You see, it's an out. It's not a home run. All right, Ryan Robbins. He knows what he has to do. No more homers. All right, you're going to have to hit a little farther than that there, Broseph. Ryan Robbins, the grounder back to the pitcher, tags second for the final out. Canada goes on to win 30-29, to avenging a loss they suffered last year.